Jesus is not helping you. He helped, he sat down. Now we walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today. When you get that straight, you can have all of his help. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you walk with him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. Thank you for joining us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here and these messages are blessing you, then consider becoming a partner with us. I'm here to sell you on a relationship with the Holy Ghost, a personal relationship with the Holy Ghost. A lot of people have never heard that before, but they're hearing it now. When I say that the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words, that's exactly what I mean. You are in a relationship with the Holy Ghost. 2 Corinthians chapter 13 and verse 14. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Well, the communion means fellowship, and it's the most personal, intimate kind of fellowship. Daily living. Your communion or your personal daily fellowship and relationship is with the Holy Ghost. And we've been talking here, message after message, on the way that you walk with the Holy Ghost is by speaking in agreement with Him and with His words. Saying words is His method of walking with you. It's your method of walking with Him. And we're not without words to say. Let's just look at a couple of these. Go to Psalms. Psalms 91 verse 1 he that dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty verse 2 I will say I will say of the Lord he is something he's something well he is my refuge and my fortress my God say my God my God in him will I trust surely he shall deliver thee here we see that you are saying something about him here it gives you something specific to say I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and my fortress and my God when I boldly declare that he is my refuge and my fortress my God in him will I trust he becomes my refuge and my fortress he becomes that to you all right so we're not without words to say I just showed you one we we know that there's a plethora of them in here some of the things that I'm going to say tonight people are going to say that I'm perverting or twisting the scriptures I know it because I know what I'm about ready to say they're gonna say I'm perverting or twisting the strip scriptures but you've already done that you've already twisted them so much so that when I start to straighten them out it's gonna look like I'm twisting them to you from your perspective I'm not twisting them I'm straightening them out that which was already twisted well hold on people don't always get it the first time they don't get it the second time I didn't get it the first time I didn't get it the second time sometimes it takes a period of time of the word washing over you and washing over you and washing over you until you get your thinking straight Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 5 for he hath said I will never leave thee nor forsake thee so that we may boldly say so here again we have a scripture that's telling us what we should boldly say we should be boldly boldly saying this he hath said that we may boldly say he said something so that we can say something in agreement with what he's already said what do you think we're doing if we do that we're walking with him in the earth so that we may boldly say verse 6 the Lord is my helper so if we say that the Lord is my helper 
that's what he is he is that that's what he is to me the Lord is whatever comes after that would be his name or part of his name or his title is what he is he is that say he is that so the Lord is that the Lord is my helper what if I say the Lord is my helper what does the Lord become to me a helper to me so who is the helper the helper is the Lord are you seeing this I'm gonna go slow enough I know you're going so slow I'm going slow enough so that you can't twist this because believe me it's way twisted and when I begin to straighten it out you might not like it the Lord is my helper so my helper is who is my helper my helper is the Lord so then let's look at who the helper is because we have plenty of scriptures that talk about who the helper is so he's called the helper you ever heard of that the Holy Ghost being called the helper yeah let's just look at a few things here let's get this settled first Corinthians chapter 12 let's look at verse 1 now concerning spiritual things or spiritual gifts brethren I would not have you ignorant verse 6 there are diversities of operations but it is the same God which works all in all say the same God which works all in all and then he goes down in the beginning of verse 8 he begins to list all the gifts of the Spirit for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit. So who, who's giving these? It'd be the same Spirit that gave the other one, right? The same Spirit, verse 11, but all these worketh that one and the selfsame Spirit, dividing to every man severally as he, say he, he will. Who's the he we're talking about here? It has to be the Holy Ghost it's the Spirit of God or the Spirit God right and he's doing all of these but all of these work if that one and self same spirit as he wills so let me ask you a question would a gift of the Spirit help you would that be a help now I can go on and prove that it's the Holy Ghost who's doing all of these things it says all these work if that one in self same spirit so he's the one doing the work he's the one worketh it would a gift of the Spirit help you would that be a help you needed something you needed a healing you needed a word of wisdom you needed something and he gave it to you would that have qualified as being a help yes so who's the helper here who helped you through that method that would have been the Spirit of God the self same Spirit what if I boldly say the Lord is my helper my helper here is the Holy Ghost if I say the Lord is my helper the help came from the Holy Ghost many of you wouldn't have a problem saying that that my helper is the Holy Ghost try it my helper is the Holy Ghost and you can boldly say that that my helper is the Holy Ghost but as soon as I start saying I boldly say the Lord is my helper people begin having a problem with it yet the Lord is my helper now again these things are gonna seem like I'm trying to twist it but I'm not twisting it I'm straightening it out you had a twisted idea of what was going on here and when I straighten it out it starts to look different than what you've seen it before so we boldly say that if we take it step by step by step my helper is the Holy Ghost say that my helper is the Holy Ghost so I can boldly say that confidently assuredly I'm trying to help you out here tonight sometimes you got to slow down you got to walk people through these things but I'm telling you the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and we need to learn how to walk with him he's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today and if you don't know how to walk with him then you're not walking with God you're walking with your old religious ideas and failing
John chapter 14 verse 16 and I will pray the Father who's who's saying this red letters Jesus saying I will pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever even the spirit of truth who's the spirit of truth that'd be the Holy Ghost when's Jesus gonna do this praying he's gonna do it when he's with the Father he's basically gonna ask the Father and they are gonna send another comforter the word comforter in the most basic form of that word means helper and if you look up other translations a lot of them will say helper so picture this Jesus is is gone into heaven is, is seated at the right hand of the Father and they send another helper he's God he's in the earth and he is a helper that's part of his name you can see that there you can say oh he's the comforter but comforter means helper you all right with us look he says I will pray the father he'll give you another comforter that he say he so he's a person he may abide with you forever well how long is that well that's at least as long as here on the earth it says he will abide with live with say with with you forever meaning he won't depart from you he will be with you he will be with you who who where's Jesus at this time he's gonna be in heaven with the Father sending the another the helper say the helper to be with you so at that time it would be the Holy Ghost with you and abiding with you and not departing from you Hebrews chapter 13 again verse 5 for he hath said I will never leave thee nor forsake thee if you ask 99.9% .9 of the Christians on the face of this earth right now you would ask who said that and they would say why Jesus said that but if you'd look down here I have a red letter Bible and notice they're not even in red letters and we don't have any recording of Jesus ever saying that in Matthew Mark Luke John or Acts Jesus didn't say that in fact I'm going to prove to you through the scriptures tonight that's part of why we're going around this this mountain is that Jesus didn't say that and it would be it, he couldn't have said that because he did depart he did leave them who will not leave or forsake them we just found out that they're gonna send the Holy Ghost and he would abide with you forever sounds an awful lot like he hath said say he hath said I will never leave thee or forsake thee and I got news for you if it's a scripture at all the Holy Ghost was the one that said it who is never gonna leave you or forsake you once you receive him the Holy Ghost so we may boldly say the Lord is my comforter the Lord is the one Jesus sent the Lord is my helper is this hurting your head yet I hope so because he's the one who said he'd never leave you or forsake you and he's the one we're talking about tonight and a lot of people don't know him as the Spirit Lord if I put spirit of the Lord in there then you know they go oh he's like you know the force of the Lord he's the he's something of the no he is the spirit Lord in the earth and you need to get to know him he likes this message by the way he likes me preaching this message a lot of people don't like me preaching this message because it irritates them okay so who never leaves or forsakes we know it has to be the Holy Ghost who is my helper the Holy Ghost so by inference here we say the Lord is the Holy Ghost right if that's too fast for you I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going around this as many ways as possible so the Lord is my helper who did Jesus call the helper the Holy Ghost is it possible that you have not yet met the Spirit Lord is that possible or you've not yet acknowledged him 
as the spirit lord the one jesus sent into the earth who does all of the things that are in the earth all these worketh that one because for some reason you're you're scared of calling him lord or the spirit lord oh i think it's more than possible it's probably very likely because when i say lord you automatically think jesus right i know uh, this is how i came up it takes even time it took me time to wrap my head around this and it's okay that when you're thinking lord you think jesus but you're not taking it nearly far enough because he is the lord jesus and he sent another to be with you well if he's the lord and he sent another what did he send another another lord you know why you're having such a hard time with this is because your religious doctrine won't let you go here you've never heard it preached in fact you've pre probably heard preached the opposite of it but if that's all you've heard because that's all that's preached you've been blocked by your religious doctrine from going here here can you imagine that your religious doctrine blocking you from going to where the scriptures are actually telling you should be and live I'm not saying that Jesus isn't Lord in the way and capacity that he is Lord surely he hath borne our sicknesses surely he hath borne our sins surely he hath but hath indicates he's not gonna do it again he's done with bearing your sins and iniquities and sickness it's it's over he sat down so he hath borne it he was they was was raised from the dead these are all things we believe he is say is seated at the right hand of the father in heaven and shall return shall return means he's not here and has sent another and the another is the Holy Ghost who's the only part of the Godhead in the earth today this isn't that difficult and I believe those things we believe on the things that Jesus did that's how you get saved he is Lord in that capacity and that will never change it's a it's an indisputable fact that Jesus is Lord but he's not the Holy Ghost he's not the spirit of the Lord he's not the spirit Lord he never turned into magically the Holy Ghost in all of those things that I said about Jesus that's how he is Lord but he's finished he's finished with all the stuff he's not gonna do anything else in the earth today he does nothing he's not gonna do anything for you what, what more do you want him to do back off in fact in Romans chapter 10 it says we're not supposed to ask him to come down and do anything he is done with it and sent another who would be with you forever and so when we read that verse of scripture I can boldly say the Lord is my helper Jesus is not your helper did he help oh yeah without his help and what he did we would we would be toast but he's not presently your helper he helped past tense he bore sat down Jesus is not your helper the Holy Ghost is your helper so when I say the Lord is my helper is can't be talking about Jesus see that's fun right I won't even have you say it but I can boldly say that Jesus is not my helper he helped he did help and sat down and he is Lord in that capacity and that will never be taken away from him he will always be that but now he's not the helper are you getting this so Jesus is not the helper Jesus is not the Holy Ghost you know I find it almost insulting that I have to say these things because it's so obvious but it's been so built religiously into the church 
that when I say it they think I'm twisting the scriptures no they're they're completely twisted Jesus is not the helper Jesus is not the Holy Ghost so he is not Lord in the sense that the Spirit is Lord or that the Spirit of the Lord is Lord he's not doing any of the gifts of the Spirit he's not helping you Jesus is not helping you he helped he sat down now we walk with the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and when you get that straight you can have all of his help because now you're saying the Lord is my helper the Spirit Lord is my helper I hope I'm getting this across so we believe on Jesus what he did that's what the word says where it always says believe on Jesus and then it says to receive the Holy Ghost believe on what he did and receive the Holy Ghost we're not receiving Jesus we believe on his Lordship we receive the Holy Ghost his Lordship is this making sense all right let's look at uh, Hebrews 13 again Hebrews chapter 13 let's read verse 5 for he hath said I will never leave thee nor forsake thee could this possibly be talking about Jesus where is Jesus right now my friend he hath left thee so if he said I will never is this English you, you getting this I will never leave thee it can't be talking about Jesus even though that's what you've been thinking for the entirety of your Christian life and then it goes on to say that we may boldly say about the Lord which can't be talking about Jesus because he's not your helper the Holy it has to be talking about the Holy Ghost and I'll just I'll just throw this out to you as as I was I pray a lot in the spirit you know and I read the word a lot and as I was reading this verse of scripture I was kind of taking it back just because you know I have religious prejudices like everybody else and as I read that the Lord is my helper the Holy Ghost said as clear as I think I've ever heard him say anything I am the Lord and I was like thank you good night he is the Lord the Holy Ghost is the Lord God in the earth so another proof that this verse can't be talking about Jesus is the fact that it says I will never leave thee go to Acts chapter 1 if you stick with me I'll help you out I know who the real Jesus is I know who the real Holy Ghost is and your religious traditions don't bother me Acts chapter 1 did I say that verse 9 and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up in a cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven he went up and behold two men stood by them in white apparel which said you men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Jesus say this same Jesus is that the real Jesus yeah that's that's the real one this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven he said I will never leave thee then what is this all about he was taken up from them mean it from away from into heaven shall so come in like manner as you've seen him go into heaven which means okay he's in heaven and then he's gonna come back from heaven when he's in heaven he he left you and when he comes back from heaven he'll be with you has Jesus come back has Jesus returned in the same way in which he went up I would say no so where is he he's still away from you I will never leave thee couldn't be what Jesus was saying I hope you're getting this let it wash over you it'll change your thinking you'll be able to walk in a deeper relationship with the Holy Ghost who is the one you are supposed to be walking with he is the Lord 
he is God John 16 verse 7 nevertheless Jesus is saying here nevertheless I tell you the truth it's expedient for you that I will never leave you wait a minute I'm reading this completely wrong it is expedient for you that I go away it's expedient for you that he leaves that he goes away because if he doesn't go away he can't send the comforter or the helper to you but if he does depart he will send him unto you so if this happened who is with you him the comforter the helper who is the helper the Lord is the helper yeah 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 but I but I just have a problem calling the Spirit Lord get over it the Bible calls him Lord do this take your Bible and go the Bible calls the Spirit Lord now if the Bible calls the Spirit Lord then what's your problem get over it so who is the one that helps we're just going slow here who is the one that helps who's the helper the Holy Ghost who's the one that never leaves or forsakes the Holy Ghost so when we have I will never leave you or forsake you that we may boldly say the Lord Holy Ghost is my helper are you getting this <laughs> yes but I've never believed that before I know that's why you haven't had enough help so this is the Lord we are talking about I can boldly say the Lord is my helper and when I say the Lord is my helper I know what I'm talking about you still might know not know what you're talking about but I know what I'm talking about he's the Spirit Lord he's the Holy Ghost we can boldly say we can boldly say the Lord is my helper the Lord is my helper right Romans chapter 8 verse 26 likewise the Spirit also helpeth our if he's helping our he's helping my who does it say here is helping my the Spirit likewise the Spirit also helpeth my infirmities who's helping me Who's the one helping the spirit helpeth can I by this scripture say the spirit is my helper who's my helper the Holy Ghost here it says likewise the spirit helps but that other verse of scripture says the Lord is my helper how are we gonna connect them how are we gonna do it so I can boldly say my helper is the Holy Ghost can you boldly say that my helper is the Holy Ghost the Spirit also helpeth if Jesus is the Lord that we've been talking about here in Hebrews chapter 13 verse 6 he would have had to have changed into the Holy Ghost he didn't change into the Holy Ghost he sent another to be with you forever is this making sense and if you could hear these I'm gonna just say a couple things that the Holy Ghost said to me he said I am the Lord Jesus brought you to me hear that I am the Lord Jesus brought you to me do you understand that what Jesus did made you available to be with the Holy Ghost and made the Holy Ghost available to be with you without Jesus remember he said he wouldn't come I am the Lord Jesus brought you to me are you getting this I hope you can hear it the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today what Jesus did was bring you and make it available for you to come to the Holy Ghost and him to come to you and that's where you should be today in the earth you should be very thankful that you can walk with the Holy Ghost the Lord your helper in the earth he is the one I know he the Holy Ghost is the one I know he's the one I have personal intimate fellowship with 
he's the one that helps me he is the Lord God that's with you say he's the Lord God that's with me when he speaks it's him I'll put it in the way he said when I speak it's me listen the Holy Ghost when I speak it's me when I do things and help it's me who's doing the help it's him the Holy Ghost when he speaks to you it's him when he blesses it's him when I bless it's me he says who is it it's him it's me he says second Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 nevertheless when it shall turn to the Lord the veil shall be taken away verse 17 now the Lord is veil taken away it's like you're pulling back the curtain now the Lord is that spirit is this in your Bible now the Lord is that spirit and where the Spirit of the Lord is or where the Spirit is Lord there is Liberty and I'm telling you listen there's a different kind of Liberty in having the Lordship of the Holy Ghost in your life than you can have in any other religious way where the Spirit is Lord there's Liberty verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the Lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord and those words of the are not in there it literally says by the Spirit Lord I looked up several other translations and most of the other ones say that all these come to pass by the Lord who is the Spirit say the Lord who is the Spirit your Bible calls the Holy Ghost Lord you shouldn't have a problem with it we can boldly say the Lord is the Spirit I know you have a problem with it you're going to have to get that down on the inside of you if you want to walk with the Spirit Lord the Holy Ghost I can boldly call him Lord we can boldly say the Lord is my helper say this say the Lord is my helper let me bless you Holy Ghost I thank you for these people I thank you that you have helped them today come to know you in a new and living way and we give you glory and praise and I thank you that people are going to begin walking with you as God in the earth like they've never done before we thank you for it Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you I thank you that I am blessed that I'm abundantly provided for and that you are my helper you help me financially I thank you that the angels go out and cause all things to work on my behalf I'm favored I'm blessed I'm prospered in Jesus name the Father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God in the earth to